What's up guys? It's Audra and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, today is a very important day. Today, the brand new Concrete Castle song, Where Are You Now, came out everywhere and I'm so excited. So, I decided that I want to do this video because number one, I love watching those, I think it's the genius interviews where they go through and like read the lyrics and they're like, this is why, this lyric, blah blah blah. Anyways, I wanted to do something like that because this is the most important song um, that we've ever written to me. Um, it's very personal and very specific uh, to to my life. So I would I wanted to do a video where I go through the lyrics and I talk about why I wrote it and what it means and see if you guys can you know relate to it the same way that I do. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sing parts of the song like they do in those interviews and then I'm gonna explain um, what all of it means. So let me give you a basic rundown. I wrote this song, Where Are You Now, about all of my friends. Uh, because if you guys follow me on, on social media or anything, you know that me and my friends are very close and we're growing up and everybody is moving away and we don't get to see each other as often or we all aren't together as often and it's a really difficult transition where everybody is kind of coming into their own you know they're they're getting jobs they're getting married they're moving to a different state like far away you know what i mean so there's just like a lot of things and I feel like this time in your life when you're in like your early 20s that are just like transitional things that start to happen. Um, because up until now, we've all been together all the time and we just aren't anymore. That's kind of what I wrote the song about is kind of a way for me to express my emotions about how I feel about this because obviously the best way that I can do that is writing a song. <laughs> um, so that's how this song came about. But let's get into each of the lyrics. I'm just gonna acapella this for you because I feel like that's that's how I want this to go. That's how the other interviews go too. Try to call you but you already asleep. You say your name but then I hear that voicemail beep. Gonna miss another 21st birthday. Remember nights when we were staying up too late. So, first part of the verse, uh, I really was literally talking about me. So when we wrote this song, we wrote it in January. And that year, kind of like all my friends turning 21, both of my like two best friends from high school, Haley and Jordan, were turning 21 in February. My friend AJ was turning 21, all, all of us in a row. And then me, and I was really bummed and worried that I was gonna miss like this big, exciting kind of moment in everybody's lives and I was get, not gonna be there for it. And that made me sad. So I put it in the song because I I was like, I, I want to be part of that and it, I felt like I wasn't going to be able to when I if I was gone. So it was like something that was like making me like, you know, sad and thinking about stuff like this and that's how it came about. Think of when we were driving past Prescott. I'm looking over and I'm seeing Haley smile. Never thought that I'd be moving away now out of this house. Presque Isle, if you didn't know, is the beach in Erie, Pennsylvania, where we're from. And that's something that we do in the summer. We go, we drive around Presque Isle, you go for walks, you, you know, bike, you go to the beach, play about whatever. And that's what we did, um, all of our friends. And I name dropped Haley in the song, Haley's my best friend. And uh, I, it was important to me to have, you know, somebody's, somebody's name in the song who's important to me. And that name just so happened to be my best friend's name, who would have guessed? Um, so I name drop Haley and I actually have a video, there's a specific video of, um, I can put it in actually, of, of this kind of moment in my mind that I wrote this about where I'm, I'm at the beach and I'm filming like the water and I pan over and it's just Haley and I was like, I think, I think that needs to be in the video. So that's, that's that one. Now we're on to the chorus and the chorus is basically just talking about the whole entire idea of the song of like, where are we all like in the future? Where are we going to be? When are we going to see each other? That kind of thing. Like you don't know. Those are all just up in the air. And so that's where this chorus comes from. Where are you now? Where are you now? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're settling down. Where are you now? Now we're leaving town. I'll see you when I see you. See you. Where are you 
happening now? Uh, like I said, it's all just about like, what happens in 10 years? Are we still gonna be friends? Are we gonna know where we're all living? Are we gonna know what we're all doing? Are we gonna see each other ever again? Are we just gonna say goodbye and see you later and then never, never talk to some people? Um, I don't know, it's just a weird thing I think about all the time. Like, there's people in high school that I was such good friends with, and I just don't, I work, we just don't talk anymore. And that just is what happens when you grow up and you start to, you know, have your own life and move away. And I just, I don't want that to happen to me and my friends, but it's, it's a possibility. And I think kind of expressing that was like comforting to be like, you know what? I'll see you when I see you, but I will see you again. And I hope you're doing well and I hope you like have your life together and you're doing what you want to do. And that's, I just like all like wishing, wishing them well to anybody I've ever been friends with to people I'm friends with now that maybe I won't be later. I just, I just like hope that everybody does what they, what they want to do in their life. It's pretty much that entire chorus. So let's go on to the second verse. I still carry around the Polaroid picture of all the friends in the back seat of my car. Hope these roads will lead me back home someday. Too many lanes on a West Coast highway. Obviously, I travel to California a lot to do stuff like this, to do writing, to play shows and blah, blah, blah. So that's why I put in West Coast Highway. Um, too many lanes on a West Coast Highway is very specific because where we're from, you have a two-lane highway. Your Pennsylvania has a two-lane highway, and when you get into LA, there's like seven lanes, eight lanes. And I remember the first time I got there, my brain was like exploding because I was just like, this is not what I'm used to. Like, I don't understand how people like live like this, blah, blah, blah. So it's just kind of like a culture shock thing coming from a very small town and going out and doing like these crazy things. But this Polaroid picture line is actually very specific as well. I have a picture of me and a few of my friends. I believe it was my brother, my friend Bryce, my friend Michaela, my friend AJ. Um, we're all actually in my car. We were spending, it's a, such a weird group too. Like we don't ever like that, that group never really hung out by ourselves. We always hang out in our big group. So like we just went and hung out all day cause everybody was busy. So we went like shopping and all this stuff. And I have a picture of all of us sitting in my car um, and just, you know, hanging out and talking. So. I like I like to put very specific details in this song because a lot of them are like very very true stories and I think that that's really cool for a song like this. All right, this next part of the verse is my favorite. Let me sing it for you. Go back back to the basics. Spend late nights in your basement. Whisper what we were saying cuz we didn't want to wake up your parents. So, this is very specific. So, my two friends that I've been friends with since we were Born. Our parents were best friends and then we became best friends because of them. Uh, Allie and Ricky. Me and Ryan used to go over to their house all the time and all of our friends still do and um, we, we have this joke that we would spend, you know, go back to the basic spend late nights in your basement and that's what we would do. We'd sit around, we'd watch movies, we'd play board games, you know, all the things. Um, but whisper what we're saying because we didn't want to wake up your parents is literally because Allie's mom Faith would text her and be like, you guys are being too loud, like you need to be quiet. And we'd call it an emotional outburst where somebody would like do something crazy and we'd all be like, wah! And then we'd be like, no, 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 shh, emotional outburst, emotional outburst. And it's because we didn't want to wake up our parents. <laughs> so that's where that came from. And now Spend Late Nights in Your Basement has a whole entire new meaning. Our friend lives in house, our friend Matt, and we always go to his basement every weekend and we just like hang out and have fun together. So. Um, it, it's a double meaning line now. It's it's taken on a whole entire life in itself. Then we've got another chorus, which is the same thing as the first one, and a little outro at the end. Um, this outro is like hard for me to like sing and listen to, especially with the video, what we did in the video. Um, also, fun fact, I put all of my friends that I'm talking about right now into this music video. You can go watch the music video right now um but this one this is a rough this is a rough ending for me to like sing and think about uh but i'm gonna do it because why not where are you now where are you now hope you're doing well got your feet on the ground now i'm leaving town but then i'll make you proud this is not goodbye it's just see you around so um this was this was kind of about like the the hopefulness 
of of leaving your friends and where you now where you now hope you're doing well got your feet on the ground like i hope you got your life figured out now i'm leaving town like when i i disappear for like two months at a time to write or go on tour and our friends work and they live in different places and like now two of our friends are married mckayla and colin and they moved away and um but i'll make you proud is talking about you know we we all care a lot about each other and what we all have to say about each other and we want to do things that make everybody excited and especially for me it's it was really hard at the beginning because you know all my friends are going to school and doing like the normal things you do when you graduate high school and I was not doing that and there were a lot of people that were very skeptical of that but my friends always friends and family but this this is targeted towards my friends always supported me and when they come to my shows I just want them to like be be excited and be proud that like we get to do this and we get to like have these experiences together now and then this is not goodbye it's just see you around obviously is that you know we're never actually gonna ever leave each other for good it's just a goodbye for now and and see you later see you around as you can see from this video the song has a lot of meaning to me and i'm very proud of how the song came out how the video came out matt was matt and zach were huge parts of putting this whole thing together and having all my friends in it and all the photos that you see in the video are actual photos of like me matt sam and all of our friends hanging around the room and we really wanted it to just be we didn't want it to be fake. We didn't want to fake take pictures with our friends that line up with the lyrics of the song. We wanted everything to just be real and be exactly who we are. And that's definitely what this song came out to be. So you can listen to the song everywhere right now. You can go watch the music video, which might be one of my favorites we've ever done. And thank you guys so much for supporting Concrete Castles and for listening to me like cry about this song for 15 minutes. Um, we seriously appreciate everything and I hope that you have as much love for this song as uh, we do. So thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss an upload every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye, see you next week.